and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 223. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Will. Hey, buddy, how buddy, how y'all doing? Hey there, man, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. <laughs> uh, you. <laughs> also joining us is Lurka Cat. Sup? How are you doing? Doing good, doing good. What about yourself, Norman? I'm good, I'm good. Been pretty chill, so that's good on my end. Super awesome. All right, and also joining us is Twilight Genesis. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> uh, first time in, and that's your intro. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing all night on the local bronies. <laughs> How did that go? <laughs> Well, the number one response was, are you ready, children? Oh, and then everything descended from that. Um, did it descend into theme song or did it descend into calling the police? <laughs> Either or. Why not both? Oh, God, no. And you managed to make it here today, so obviously you got away. <laughs> and there was an off-screen explosion and someone screamed, my leg. <laughs> yep. Uh, I want to see this. The horror. The horror. Uh. But anyway, since Twilight, you're new here, we have to ask you the four important questions. Question number one is, who is your favorite character? Uh, this is always a hard question. If I had to pick, uh, including the main six, I'd have to say Pinkie Pie for sure. But if I excluded the main six, it would be probably Maud Pie. Oh, Maud, nice choice. Maud is the best pie sister. Right next to Limestone, who yes. I've given an alternate name, but I don't think I should say it on the no. show. Don't upset Sweetie Belle. Nope. 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 All right. Mod, that's interesting. She has been around, and that's good. You would love the newest comic, Her and Rarity. That was that was an awesome comic. I've been meaning to check out the comics, but uh, getting comics is not very easy down here. I have a bunch of them that my mate gave me that he got from a Humble Bundle. Oh, that's cool. But... They're all sort of like mixed up, so they're not full comics or anything like that. Ah, uh, all right. I've been to your neck of the woods, and finding comics and a comic store is way in town, if I remember right. Yeah, the only decent one is Quality Comics, which is out of the way from the main shopping strip in the middle of the CBD. Yeah, I remember it was close to a store called Tokyo Underground, which is actually above ground, and... Yeah, it's like, yeah. Oof, not close. But they had pony comics there. Oh yeah, they've got the pony comics. Uh, Tokyo Underground used to be underground, <laughs> but they moved when the uh, the store that was right next to them closed down, and then everyone stopped going down there. Oh, that sucks. So now are they Tokyo yeah. Overground? Um, above ground. <laughs> <laughs> you can change the name. Uh, no, uh, Tokyo pa- story. <laughs> Tokyo partially buried ground. <laughs> yeah. So I'd go there. <laughs> Oh, but no, the, the story I went to was pretty awesome. But anyway, um, favorite episode? Oh, I, this is probably the hardest question. Today's episode. Off the top of my head. Today's I, episode. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't see all of today's episode. I only got back just in time to catch the very end of it. What? But after, really? Yeah, yeah. Because it was, I left just before it started airing and I had to drop my friend off oh. uh, on the way back from the meetup. So everyone that I just left behind has probably seen the episode, and they're all just going to spam it at me, I swear. But I have to say, uh, I don't really have a favorite. Like, if I could just pick from every season, I could probably pick a favorite. But off the top of my head, I don't really have one. All right, it's cool, it's cool. As long as it's not, it's just, I just hate season five, though. I have to put that <laughs> oh, out there. I can't tell you, I can't tell you a favorite, but I can tell you just season five, no. Oh, season five was not bad. But anyway, how did you become a fan of the show? Ah, well, uh, this one, I, it's kind of complicated. Like most people that I know, they got a fan show because for some reason or another, they got around to watching it because someone told them to, or they were trying to be ironic. I mm-hmm. was drunk. <laughs> I found the Sol- uh, Crits remix of Giggle and the Ghosties, got hooked on it and decided to listen to the original version. So I watched the first two episodes still drunk. <laughs> or, this seems all right. I'll 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 watch more the next night. So I watch the second half, uh, the first half of the season one, mm-hmm. drunk again, <laughs> and then the night after that, I watched the second half of season one, still drunk, and decided I really really like the show, and then proceeded to just be drunk and watch the show quite a bit. That I watched all of season two drunk <laughs> and watched season three. 
Oh wow! So, I would love to hear. I would love to hear your synopses afterwards. It's like nutshell review. Yeah, there was this thing of this purple pwn, <laughs> and she went to this place with these others, and they're oh. all yelling at her. And then there was big magical rainbows. <laughs> See down drunken, here. Drunken explosion. Down here, we don't have the uh, the channel actually available for us to watch on TV. To watch the show as as we have to live stream it mm-hmm. from uh, the Americans. Mm-hmm. So that's a very com- that was a very common thing for people to do is have meetups and everyone sit down and watch the new episodes live streamed. Uh-huh. I got to do that once during season two uh-huh. for uh, Secret of My Access. The entire time I just sat there and made snarky comments <laughs> the entire way through. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I was hilarious, which is great because the episode wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you enhanced it with your drunkenness. Oh wow! Ah, quite quite a lot. <laughs> All right, then. So. Um, I, I think that's how you became a fan of the show. So, um, what do your family and friends think about your love for said show? I've, I'm not even sure if my like parents are even vaguely aware of it. Mm-hmm. They sort of like tune out everything my me and my brothers do because it's at the point like we're all in our mid twenties, <laughs> so they don't want really to know what we're doing. <laughs> <of our lives. laughs> I, okay, all right. My my brothers, I I actually got them into the show initially because of memes. Mm-hmm. They they became short-term fans, and they don't care. I have a way. Mm-hmm. And most of my friends at this point are bronies. Very few of them aren't. <laughs> and most of them are like, yeah, no, we, we they just ignore it. They refuse <laughs> to <laughs> acknowledge the broniness unless they want to make fun of me, which they know they can do because I'm very easygoing. <laughs> All righty, then. Uh, thank you for answering those four questions, Twilight. So, here's the thing with the show right now. It's um, stated that I've been to Perth and I've um, met you IRL. And there's something called the Emu Wars that we experience. Ah, uh, yes, the Emu War. Ah, yeah. uh, the Great Emu War. I, I love this story. Yeah. I mean, I don't particularly tell it with 100% accuracy as <laughs> most people on the internet should know by now that if, if it comes out of Australia, there's a good chance that its accuracy is very, very limited. Yeah. But the Emu War is actually a thing and it's on a Wikipedia page. <laughs> All right. But do tell us because... You... That... Oh, no, okay. I won't spoil it then. <laughs> All right. Go right ahead. But have, have the native tell you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The Great Emu War essentially was a large amount of emus. Uh, I forget exactly. I think it's like eleven to eighteen hundred. It could have been even more than that. It's, there's a lot of emus. Mm-hmm. They were considered a pest by farmers. The Australian military sent out soldiers with a load of Thompson machine guns to try and cull the emus. They lost. <laughs> Oh, they managed to kill, I think, about 600 emus. I'm actually, I've brought up the, the Wikipedia page so I can double check my facts because <laughs> it's even funnier when you actually hear it. They killed about 600 emus out of 20,000 of them. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just made them angry now. Use, yeah. Using the, uh, these, uh, oh, the Lorbus machine guns. Sorry, not Thompson. Using Lorbus machine guns, uh, 10,000 rounds of ammunition. Yeah, the, the emus, the what emus kind of won. Stormtrooper marksmanship do they have here? <laughs> Australia emus, version of the stormtrooper. You, you've heard the term bullet sponge, right? It's a video game term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Emus are bullet sponges. <laughs> oh, they are living bullet sponges. These are creatures that will wait on the side of the road, see a car coming, stand in the middle of the road, and then play that game. Like you know, you know if you walk at someone and you both move out of each other's way, but you move in the same direction. <laughs> Emus do that with cars. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> Try to take you guys out now. <laughs> what you did in the war. Emus are usually fairly tame, but oh. they're crazy. <laughs> so basically, like most wildlife in Australia, except minus the tame part, just crazy. <laughs> uh, they, they, oh wow. Uh, at least you told your version. I, I like our version better, where you told me it was insane. Oh, it's, it's insane either way. Just a, a lot of emus and the Australian military lost <laughs> while using what was, I think, 
I'm pretty sure the Lewis machine guns was like the state of the art uh, firearms at the time. Oh wow! Because this was directly after World War One. Oh god, no! So Jeez. like machine guns were very, very brand new tech. Oh wow! Like Will said, stormtrooper aiming. Yes. <laughs> Well, hey, well, at this... least at least the war, if the war happened now, I'm pretty sure they would adopt a scorched earth policy. <laughs> oh no! Uh, you, you would have to because that. But even then, the emus would probably outrun it. <laughs> They're very, very, very quick birds. Oh wow! Well. They would just crawl out of that crater and just take over and be glowing like neon green or something. <laughs> oh god, no! It could be worse. They could be cassowaries. Oh you know, gosh, no! Cassowary. I've heard about them. Oh god, no! Yeah. But, yeah, cat, what cassowaries do to you? It's it's not not uh, pretty. Oh god, no! So like, don't they purposely like stalk people just to mess them up? <laughs> cassowaries will basically see you and bolt right at you with the intent to ruin your day for the next <laughs> like ten to twenty days. Oh god! No. Pro- providing you survive the encounter. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> There's a there's a reason that the most annoying animal in the Far Cry 3 video game oh. because as soon as you get near them they will bolt at you and they will follow you until you either kill it or it like you know kills you. <laughs> oh god no. Well, <laughs> besides um Farfetch stories. <laughs> uh, besides that, um Twy, if I'm not mistaken, you have a YouTube channel, right? Uh yes. Uh, two pints please. Ah. So what's it all about? It's uh, mostly a general interest channel. We, My partner that I was starting the channel up with, he and I, we didn't really have anything we felt was we were comfortable with focusing on solely. Like some people do entirely Brony content. Other people do just entirely video games and all that. We, we didn't think we had enough singular expertise to run a whole channel based on one thing. So we're just like, we'll do everything. <laughs> But we, we figured our our catch would be that the setting for the channel is a bar that has connections to all the different universes. So if we had people come on to the show as guests, they can use whatever avatar of themselves they please. At the moment, I've only got a few videos up. Uh, one that's MLP related. Uh, one that's an interview with... Uh, Kyle McCall, your uh, former uh, host here on MBS show, and the next one, which was meant to go up yesterday, but due to sleep and getting very, very distracted by a lot of different things, <laughs> has yet to go up, but it's going to be Pokemon related. Huh? Ooh. All cool. right. I'm intrigued. Bar at the center of the universes. Bar are always there. They serve a purpose of, hey, you want to take a drink? Let's go. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely. Uh, the original intent of the channel was that we we're going to have a fortnightly podcast where we would go on, we'd talk about whatever we want and have a drink while we're doing it, just so it's fun. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet, but <laughs> I've acquired a new co-host. So that podcast will probably go up and it will probably be a lot of drunken uh, shenanigans. Hooray! <laughs> oh God. Well, talking about shenanigans, right? First news. The four in our QD mark removed from the upcoming DVD. So, you guys know Shock Factory, right? They produce the DVD for the shows, direct-to-DVDs. And one of the episodes that was supposed to come out was the four in our QD marks. And that is a season six episode. And the thing is, this episode hasn't come out yet. Due to scheduling things... The fault in Kiri Mark was supposed to be episode 9, but they shifted it to a later episode in the season. So yeah, um, Child Factory kind of not really derp, but they miscommunicated. And yeah, they had to remove that one and had to replace it with On Your Marks. So yeah, we could have gotten an early sneak peek to the latest episode that's not on air yet. Oh well. Oh well. Someone derp with shenanigans in it. Well, that was an exciting little tidbit of, yay, we almost got a free episode, now, no. Nah. We have to just wait like everyone else. Hasbro said stop, no. Nah, that reminds me, Ooh. tonight's episode was leaked onto Netflix <laughs> a good hour or so early. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> no, but it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait for today's episode. Can't wait to talk about it. Yeah, but who really buys the DVD anymore? 
Yeah, so. I buy DVDs. I enjoy buying DVDs. I intend to get the Equestria Girls movies DVDs, mostly so I can finally have access to all of the, oh. the deleted scenes and all of that special feature stuff. Oh, yeah. They, they Especially cool. the deleted duet version of the uh, that song that Twilight sings in uh, Friendship Games. Ah, that's a good track. Like, that is a good track. And it, including the DVD commentary, that's cool. A friend of mine actually has all of the uh, DVD box sets for every season so far of MLP. Oh, Ooh. dang. That's a nice collection. The ones that are available? Yeah. Huh, all right. Because we got a, this distributor that we got almost everything that comes down DVD in America yeah. down here. Oh. And almost everything gets released as box sets because it get we get all the uh, collections after individual DVDs have all been released. Well, that's handy. It's, yeah. It's fantastic, especially for anime fans, uh, since anime DVDs tend to only, sometimes they will shaft it down to like two or three episodes per DVD, and then you get collections which have like 12 each. Yeah, I remember those kind of things. It's, they kind of still do that in Japan, just to recoup some of the money. Uh, but still, um, talking about the movies, the 2017 My Little Pony movie, they have a Twitter. So you can stock them! Yay! Yeah, and I got no idea. Like, do they really need to split the brand? I don't know. I don't think yeah, it seems a little true. redundant to me. Yeah, true. But apparently, um, the <laughs> official Twitter page is only following two people. Oh, who are they following? Lionsgate <laughs> and Sia. Oh. And they only have three tweets like mm, it's it's hard i know to promote something that you can't really blur out yet but still you could have done more just occasionally, occasionally tweet hey i did a thing <laughs> but i can't tell you what it is oh uh, yeah <laughs> did another thing today but you won't know what it is yeah Lons. i just hope we get uh extras like um the pre-movie promotional clips like uh what we had with rainbow rocks and friendship games oh you mean trailers not the the trailers the uh promotional oh. uh shorts like the the two two to three minute long things which are either a music video or like a small gag thing like all the characters finding their instruments that they had shorts for all of the main six i, I remember well, the main five at that point i hope we get something like that I, I doubt that we'll get that for the 2017 movie because it'll be kind of spoilerish in terms of what they are planning. Because as for now, we got no idea besides the thing that they've blurred out online, and those things sound so far fetched. Oh, yeah, the, the Queen of the Hippos was it? Yeah, what was that all about? Yeah. And talking about Twitters, so, I, so the two pint things. Do you have a Twitter page for it? No, I don't. I, people have asked me that a lot in the last three days, so I'm starting to consider it. I usually have avoided Twitter up until this point, but maybe, maybe just it'll be a good idea. Ah, all righty then, all righty then. If you do have Twitter, like you could just spread your thing around the interwebs, like in the Facebooks or the Twitters and whatnot, and yeah, it's a good way to promote stuff. Well, this is like everything has a Twitter now if it's something new. Oh, true that. It, it sounds redundant, but it's a really good way to promote stuff. Like how Brian Doe does his thing, because he was super happy to announce that he'll be joining the cast of My Little Pony Equestria Girls Legend of the Everfree. He tweeted that, and yay, it seems that we have a new actor coming on to the movie, or the animated movie, the Equestria Girl movie. Yes. So, yay. Who? Brian Doe. Honestly. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, but there's going to be some Brian Doe fans listening to this, and they're just going to be like, off with his head! No, but yeah, yeah they're going to like oh. burn us all! Burn us all! I wouldn't be surprised if there really isn't that many fans. Uh, this was actually brought to my attention a few days ago, and me and a couple mates went and looked him up on uh, IMDb. It's not been very much at all, or at least nothing I've ever heard of outside of a couple of video games. There will be hardcore fans that, like, on your, they will come and they will kill us all for dissing him. <laughs> they can try. <laughs> the one gaming thing that he did was Homeworld Desert of Karak. Ah, that's it. 
it's not a very good game from what from my <laughs> perspective as an RTS fan from the old days of the original Command and Conquer and Doom 2000. Ah, uh, disappointing. Oh dear. Okay, found his page. Wayward Pines, Homeworld, Deserts of Karak, Almost Eggers, Frenzied Kill Four, Superbook, The Lord Third Base. Okay, so it's a no. Oh, actually, if anything, this is probably one of his more a, a bigger role for him. So congratulations to the guy. Yay! Going into voice actor. Be interesting to see what he does. He was in Barbie, the Pearl Princess. <laughs> so that was. <laughs> Awesome, right? Any hardcore Barbie fans about? Uh, I have a niece who's a Barbie fan. Came to the house oh. asking if I have Barbie or not. Like, dude, I'm ponies, not Barbie. Please. <laughs> I have class. <laughs> <laughs> a, a friend of mine, his sister is man, and watch almost every Barbie movie that's come out. Uh, yeah. But uh, I seen a short yeah. clip online where there's... A, actually, it's a gif. Where it's Barbie commenting about uh, to make fire, you um, rub two sticks together, and she's commenting like, "Why am I rubbing doing two plastic sticks together? Isn't it gonna catch fire?" Uh, it was pretty hilarious. Yeah. Oh, fun fact: Starlight Shimmer is the voice for Barbie. Oh, oh. Yep. I can't look at Starlight Shimmer in the same way anymore. Yep. Starlight Shimmer. Starlight Glimmer. Yeah, Starlight Glimmer. I'm yeah. so good at color Starlight Shimmer. Uh, no, no. That sounds like a shipping name. <laughs> oh, shipping name between Sunset Shimmer and Starlight Glimmer. Someone draw that. No. Do it. No, sun- Do it. Sunset is either for only Saitwai or Dajio. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No. I, I, I think, I, I think we can ship them all together. It's not that bad, right? Uh... <laughs> Perspectives, I suppose. <laughs> you mad shippers. <laughs> you all are insane. Yeah. Join the dark side, Will. No, I'm not going to ship anything. I don't ship. There could be cookies involved. No, there isn't. There's just pain and suffering and horrible breakups involved. <laughs> None, of you un- <laughs> None of you understand actual love. I've never experienced it. Will, Will, Will. Will, you hearing me, Will? I'm hearing you. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. You know, it doesn't matter how much you say it is, I'm still getting the baseball bat. <laughs> well, I'm going to hurt you for that. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, anyway, those are the news for this week. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, before Will hurts me. <laughs> no more. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, before, Never more. <laughs> before that happens, I need to ask, um, we have mail and this is a continuation from a few weeks ago. We seem to be dropping the ball and well, I'm picking it up so we can hit it out of the park. And I'm, I'm going to try and finish this on this, this episode. So let's start off with Lurk. Um, CRC. Oh no. <laughs> CRC ask, um, what is or are your favorite fan fictions? I don't actually read any fan fictions, so I'll have to say none. Ah, all right. Oh, read fine. <laughs> oh, we are an exact opposite ends of the spectrum there, Lurker. Well, you can answer the question, Well, What's your favorite fan fiction? Oh, God, now you put me on the spot. Well, you started this. You started what's, this. What, what subgenre? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are we, are we talking about know. adventure? Are we talking about science fiction? Are we talking about alternate universe? Are we talking about human? Are we oh talking gosh. about oh Equestria Girls? Are we talking what about Anthro? What have I done? <laughs> oh, wow. He honestly, has a point. Yeah, true that. Honestly, I'll go, we, we, my personal answer and my favorite is always going to be, um, Sunny Skies All Day Long. That is a really good one. I recommend that all the time. It's a really good one. Yeah, you recommended it to me and I still haven't got back to reading it. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a while ago. Yeah, true Oops. that. So, look, number four is if you had the choice to spend the whole day with one of the main six, who will it be? I'm surprised this is even a question. Fluttershy, uh, naturally. Any reason? Gotta get closer to that angel bunny and make rabbits do. If you do that, she'll never forgive you. Oh, uh, yeah. She'll come round, surely. She'll realize it was just a horrible little bunny anyway. She's not used to those things that she speaks to, so she won't miss one. Oh no. Really you do, you, you do not understand pet owners at all, do you? 
I understand me, but then it's a horrible bunny. Angel Bunny's terrible. Oh you... no, he's he's a perfect little angel. That's why she named him that. Oh, but he tastes awesome though. <laughs> <laughs> when I hang a night with all the animals, would be super awesome. Question number five is: What's your favorite outdoor activity since summer's finally here? And I think it's almost ending. <laughs> oh, yeah. we're we're mm. bad. It's like, well, it used to be swimming like in the sea, but now it's Pokemon Go. Oh yeah. So, okay. Have have you really went into the ocean to catch that blastoid? Blastoid? No, but I I could try. Oh god, don't be like those people, please. It's like natural selection, Norman. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Oh god, no. Ah, uh, and question number six, the last one to be um uh, the the last one. Oh, this is going to be really confusing. Okay, but no, not the confusing question. No. Yeah, no. but I'm gonna try it out. See if anybody has a response. He broke her heart, so she broke his Rainbow Dash plush toy. Who do you think cried the most? It's like I would say her, but I'm assuming the correct answer is him. I don't know if there's a correct answer or not. That was a random question, CRC. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Uh, anyway, thank you, CRC, for those questions to alert. And Will, we still have yours. Let's try and finish yours. Shall we? Ah, 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 questions. Yeah, you can't get away. You have to answer questions too, bro. <laughs> yeah. So You'll never break me. Uh, well, yes. we'll, we'll, we won't, we won't. But we'll just ask you nicely. Because the last one we left you with is um, you having 14 years of choir experience. And you did explain yourself pretty well. And uh, question number two for you is... Between these episodes, which would you prefer the most? Spice up your life? The princesses dream of magic sheep? The main attraction? On your marks. Probably say, do princesses dream of magic sheep? And the reason I say that is just because I loved, I, I, I loved the dream <laughs> visuals. And I just loved char- seeing char- characters' innermost thoughts and getting more on what makes them them. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, there was some bad things with that episode. I mean, we're not gonna, we're not here to talk about that whole thing, but I loved just all the, the characters' wants or their, their dreams, in a sense, or their nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Rainbow Dashes was downright hilarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, uh, just, just the, uh, everyone having a shared dream and being superpowers wow. in the end was really cool. Yeah. Plus, Filthy Rich's superpower is money! <laughs> uh, yeah, Filthy Rich is yep, true that. So, um, question number three for you is, do you ship Discord and Fluttershy? Um, I, uh, again, we just, uh, heck, we answered this earlier, I really don't ship. Um, uh, I, I just let characters be characters as they are. It, it's whatever. People want to ship, go right ahead. I mean, no, no ship is... <laughs> no ship is problematic uh, compared to what Tumblr might tell you. It's fiction. <laughs> you could ship Awazotl and Daring Do. You could ship uh, <gasps> Tyrik and Discord. Heck, you could you could you could ship you you could ship um you could ship Tyrik in his full super powered form and Seabreeze. Oh, do it! Someone do it! Post the link in the comments. I want to see it. Oh god! Someone's no. really into size difference there. <laughs> oh god! Yes. No. Uh, and the funny part is, Seabreeze will be the dominant one. <laughs> hey, you, yeah, you think you're so good with your own esteem? And yeah, well, how about you get the down here? You need to be each other. Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll put that image in your head. Uh, well, so this one, oh, um, number four is, what was one of the most embarrassing moment during your life as a brony? So far. Jeez, well, nothing really stands out. I mean, I don't really have embarrassing moments that I can think of at the top of my head. Because most of them are repressed memories. So. <laughs> I agree with that one. Jeez. Uh, that is going to be hard to actually answer. Well, because if you don't have any, it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but just nothing off the top of my head because... Um, the comment, I can't think of anything embarrassing because I have no shame. <laughs> yeah, alrighty then. I, I'll take that as an answer. And the last one for you is, out of all the freaky people on the show, who would you say is your favorite? Though we probably already know it's Norman, right? 
Hmm. Well, I really only know you, Norman, and I don't know the Lurker Cat. I just met Twilight. So, gosh, I'd probably have to say the freakiest person on this entire channel would have to be that guy in the corner who never talks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guy in the corner. Yeah, still there. Oh, man, what's up with that? You seen the fun No, no. <laughs> if I had to be serious, probably just, uh, probably a lurker. Just Yay! Just, <laughs> just because she, 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 you just, she, lurker. That's it. <laughs> lurker. That's it. I wanted something! <laughs> Woo! Uh, and the last one. If some pony were to play, oh wow, this is, <laughs> lurk, you want to do this because, ay, ay, ay. Alright, give me the text. Give me the text. Uh, okay, give, well, just, give me the text and I'll read it out loud, man, if it's that much for you. No, it, it's just like... Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, it's right. just a question, was it? A yep. weird question. Yep. I can answer. I can read it out. Uh, do, do you want to read it out loud, Lurker? Uh, give me a sec. And the final question. I mean, sixth question. If somebody were to pay you handsomely, would you dress up as a pretty little princess of Equestria stuck up in a high tower waiting for your knight in charming armor? That's me. You come and rescue you, the damsel in distress, and sweep you off your feet. Huh. That's, um... You know, I have the number of a good counselor there, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no, don't Sounds like you're dealing with some repressed issues there. And... <laughs> oh, don't be mean. <laughs> oh, no, no, man. Okay, if someone were to pay me handsomely to play an acting part, hell yeah, I'd... I'd I, I play money to act a part and whatnot. Just be sure you get uh, good lighting on the camera and whatnot as you film it. <laughs> yeah. And I get to choose the dress size. All right, here if we're if we're, if we're if the dress type hmm. size doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, dress type. All right. If anything, I want to dress like Cadence. All right. Ooh. She's got the best style. Mm? Nice choice. Mm -hmm, nice choice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, Sam. And it's not pink. It's not pink. It's salmon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna get that right, yo. Honestly, if it were me, I'll dress up as Chrysalis. Oh wait, wait! Chrysalis is an option. Screw that! Yeah, Chrysalis <laughs> <laughs> is because you know we said princess here. I mean, if queen was an option, oh, wait, heck if, yeah! If you want to go princess, so it's like why not Princess Big Mac? <gasps> Best princess ever. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but uh, no, no, you, 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 you're talking to a guy who love. I, I love acting. So yeah, if someone paid me to act in a role, go right ahead. Just keep in mind that after a, after I've been technically swept off my feet, pretty cut. Break time. We're done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And well, thank you for sending those questions, CRC. Uh, clearly, we are really entertained by those questions. And please send us more. We uh... <laughs> more random questions. <laughs> yep. Yep. True that. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, if you guys at home would want to send us questions, you can send those at the MBA show at gmail dot com. Um, we'll read it out on the show, we'll answer them, and, you know, we'll have fun, because this was fun. <laughs> yes, this was interesting. Yes. And also, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can do it there, too. That's the MBS show at gmail.com. And if you don't like sending emails, you can also reach us at the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. And if you want to go personal, I'm at Norman Sanzo. I usually tweet about Toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. Will, where can the people find you? If they want to find me, they can find me, uh, Will is in on, oh, Fim Fiction, Will is in on Tumblr, Will is in on DeviantArt, Will is in on YouTube, Will is in on the Will is in channel on the Will is in time. <laughs> so Will is in everywhere, eh? Yeah, uh, basically, I got a brand going here. <laughs> yeah, 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 trademark. And Lurk, what about you? Oh, you can find me at lurkercat.deviantart.com or you can find me at facebook.com forward slash highlandbronies. Ah, alrighty then. And Twy, what about you, man? I've got my YouTube channel, uh, Two Points Please. It doesn't have a fancy personalized URL yet, but it also has a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com forward slash double point productions. And my personal, uh, locations are twilightgenesis.deviantart.com. And fimfiction, uh, dot net slash user slash midnight lights. Alrighty then, I'll put that into the links in the show notes and in the bot, in the comments of, not really, in the annotation, in, not really annotation, um, in the links. Description. description. Yeah, description, that's the word. It's always annotations and annotations dot 
true. I don't know how to do them. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible with that. But uh, besides that, I'll put it in the description below. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyRealLife.com. And also, please subscribe to the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast, which is available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. On that show, we have Silver Quill and Sapphire Heart songs discussing about the episode or comics that we review on a weekly basis. And if you want to see another side of Silver or Sapphire, check it out there. It's highly entertaining. I recommend it if you want to see the insanity that goes on in his head or in our head is just really crazy so yeah there's an option to catch us there so i have been norman sanzo i have been will i've been lurker cat and i've been twilight genesis and we'll catch you guys next week with another amazing episode of the mbs show see ya bye bye get out of here people she is uh, you don't have to go home but you can't stay here <laughs>